Frame fam, welcome back to another video. Man, the fires of next gen rumors and competition just keep getting fueled up with new information concerning the yet to be announced RTX 3060 Ampere GPU from Nvidia. Now, before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more tech news and benchmark content as we grow this channel into the best tech channel that I can make it. Your support means a lot to me, and I don't know where I'd be without my supporters. Now, with that mushy stuff out of the way, let's just get into it. So the RTX 3060 has been speculated for some time now, and I even made a video about this GPU about a month ago, but new information is suggesting we might hear about this GPU shortly after AMD reveals their RDNA 2 lineup, which is said to be anywhere between now and early October, with the October 7th date being referred to often. With that announcement time frame in mind, a November release date is still very likely for the 3060, but we have new information that this GPU will have better specs than previously expected. Now the rumors circulating when my last RTX 3060 video was made suggested 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM running on a 192-bit memory bus, but more accurate findings are suggesting the RTX 3060 will actually have 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM running on the same 256-bit memory bus size as the RTX 3070, while sporting 4,864 CUDA cores. This is a massive generational jump over its predecessor, the RTX 2060 Super, that the RTX 3060 will be directly replacing. Now, once you add in the almost two times boost in rate tracing capabilities, this GPU just keeps getting more and more sweet every single day. Of course, with everything being said, I would expect the overall memory bandwidth to be lower than the RTX 3070 due to the lower memory clock speeds, but this would mark the RTX 3060 as having more CUDA cores than the RTX 2080 Ti and would place its overall real-world performance at around base RTX 2080 levels. This is very impressive considering that insiders are pointing at this card costing around 300 to 350 US dollars at launch when compared to the RTX 2080s. $700 MSRP price tag. If all these rumors are true, this will be great competition to whatever AMD announces in the same price range while also giving gamers incentive to upgrade their PCs as an option instead of choosing to purchase the newly announced Xbox Series S console, which also has a $300 price tag while including a lot of the same features as the RTX 3060, such as ray tracing and machine learning, and even targets the same audience of users running 1440p or less resolutions with high frame rates. Of course, at 1080p and even 1440p, the RTX 3060 will likely dominate the Xbox Series S in terms of raw graphical fidelity and frame rates, especially a few years from now. After all, about $300 buys you an entire console where that would just get you the GPU depending on which way you go. But as many of the people who watch this channel know, I am a huge advocate for competition and consumer choice. I think the more options we have to choose from to get the best personal match for our circumstances and preferences are important, and I'm happy to see so many hardware possibilities already announced with plenty more on the way. What do you guys think about the RTX 3060 and its possibilities? Is this a day one buy for you that you've been keeping your eye on? Or do you need to hear more from both companies about your options before deciding? Comment below and let me know, but that's all I have for you guys today on this particular GPU. I hope you enjoyed the talk. If you did, make sure to smash that like button as it really helps me out. As always fam, it's been a pleasure. Please stay safe, stay happy, and keep on gaming.